Salutations everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Sunless Sea. I'm your host, Rainboy20, and where we had last left off, we had nearly finished our journey with the subtle ridden navigator. And we've also lived long enough to witness the rise of Caviar. Or at least their battle for independence. And now we are once again off on another voyage. This time around, we are heading back to London. Because I've got a much bigger voyage planned. Well, now that I have access to it, at least. In that, I am fairly certain that it is time to go pay a visit to the Empire of Hands of old. And of course, this is one of the longest journeys available in the game, but I'm fairly certain the Empire of Hands is just directly across from Khan's Shadow, or basically we go in line with Khan's Shadow and just keep moving. If not, we're sure to find some island and we can head on back. So I'm just conserving supplies by making the trip back now. So I can just grab whatever I need for free. Or for basically free. As well as grabbing another bit of strategic information. Furthermore, with the business at the Empire of Hands, we can get closer to attempting to steal the blimp, which is apparently one of the ways to get the books. And after reading up, no, in fact, the Sigil Ribbon Navigator does not give you a skill book for completing his quest, which I can understand why. That requires a lot of random chance, just to be certain that you have the Sigil Ribbon Navigator in the first place. Although to my dismay, a skill book that I do not possess can only be unlocked by not choosing a past and then going through the entirety of the Salt Lions quest. Or getting my own island, but as of right now, I don't see a reason to. Still, that annoys me to no end. I guess I also need to stop at Khan's Shadow and get a Miraketch lockbox. Anyway, we're in home waters again. I don't know what's going to show up for us at home, but we might as well see. I haven't seen the Cheery Man's displeasure yet, though, so I guess I'm happy. I'm also kind of annoyed at work, because work took so long that I basically didn't have any time to go over and go to the only war campaign for today. We, we had a hilarious situation where I ended up being the one person to not contract Death's Grasp in Only War, which is a horrible, horrible disease. Apparently my character, who has the least toughness of all, which is used for resisting diseases, had the mystical ability of rolling well enough to not get it the two times we had chances to get it, even after one of our characters had ended up dying from Death's Grasp. Anyway. Let's see, what waits us in Wolfstack Docks? Harbormaster, Harbormaster, what do you have for me? Rosa's Wharf is something has changed, and the Alarming Scala wishes to entertain me for today. Uh, two supplies, something pickled. I'm glad. Anything I want to even give them? Not really. Ooh. A lump of blue skin to lack. A Pachyon! That's not a hue we often see here. Off this scholar an intriguing snippet. I might perhaps classify this as gossip, not data. Nevertheless, and uh, don't, don't mind me as my voice suddenly becomes normal. Ooh, -hoo, zesty, zesty! This one will do very well shared. Thank you. Your payment. A fragment and 50 echoes. Interesting. That's none of my business right now. I'm not giving that away because I like the instant recharge that can be reused. Every 20 seconds, but it's still an instant recharge. I don't have any outlandish artifacts, so I can't give it to the veteran privy. And I don't have any moves for the great game right now, and I have no idea where to go grab them. Still can't do anything of the venturer's desire, but that's not a humongous issue to me. My lodgings, time with family. Let's just enjoy the evening. I have no terror now, and some restful, like, protection from nightmares. Who is the new recruit? Carnelian Exile. Is a first officer? Well, I'm gonna need one. My lord, I know the way. Let me show you. Here I am. A ship, I suppose. Is both always here and never there. Because there it becomes here. I can already tell I'm going to love this one. Yes, I also wanted to go through some of the uh, feeding stuff. Ah, but I need mutter salt. You sadden me. Irreversible cannoneer. 
Torpedo components and 10 fuel. I've had enough to eat, thank you. I don't eat much, but I'd like to demonstrate some ideas I've had. Can you meet me at the after deck on eight bells? Sure. Shops. Do they sell torpedo components? Well, yeah, I've got the cargo for it. Do do we do they sell torpedo components is a question. Aft weapon. The denunciation. I don't think that's Oh no, because it's Ah yes, they do sell it. One, two, three, four, five. And doesn't even take up cargo space. Neat. And where, where can I find the fuel? I'm just going to go up to 15, because I don't know how much he's just going to use. Flowers of Flame. The cannoneer has found ways to calibrate your weapons for additional death and explosions. When the smoke clears, however, it is impossible to deny that the risk and expense of most of these tricks is a little too great. Only a couple of minor modifications are safe to use. But do you know, the cannoneer says, squinting thoughtfully, it reminds me of a story. The Iron and Misery Company was testing something. Destroyed one of their outlying stations. Destroyed it to bits. If you can find me the prototype, I can make it work for us. Can you take me to Demino's Isle? I used to know the factor there. He might talk. A tale of terror. Lost five supplies, lost five torpedo components, lost five fuel. But I've gained an iron. Excellent. Uh, speak to the good doctor, and I need a mushroom wine, which is very simple to provide. I said, it's very simple to provide. I know exactly where it is. The art of poison. I let most of them slip away peacefully, a drop of laudum still on their tongues. For that sop to my conscience, I am most ashamed of all. The wine flows as the haunted doctor talks candidly of his past, of a status that allowed him to the bedsides of many of London's most infamous, and the black medicine bag that carried the tools of both his trades, doctor and anarchist poisoner. I was a fool, he adds, a child, just a boy on a crusade, drinking in the rhetoric of the calendar council, thinking myself more than a mere poisoner. What I did, I did not regret. With though I had seen their true hearts before giving myself so freely to perdition. He wraps his leathery eye patch. The sound is hollow, sickly. It is a disappointment I well deserved. The lady taught me that much, at least. I. No. Another time. Perhaps. The hour grows late. But thank you for the company. The doctor may have more to say after you visited a place that touched his, his old interests. Drinking snippet tail of terror lost a cast of mushroom wine. Hmm, let me guess. Oh, uh, no. I guess we have to actually go and physically visit the place. Well, time to start submitting port reports. Oh, wait, vital intelligence. Okay, then. What's that? Tell me quickly. enthusiastic nods. I'm glad you brought this to me. I have a colleague of sorts. A diplomat, so-called. I will tell you because I trust you. This diplomat will pay better, but I will be put the information... But I will put the information to better use. He leans forward. There are powers in this world I cannot speak of. There are affairs of the Navy I am not proud of. Bring me more information like this, and we can set matters right. You now have Recovering Supremacy, London, and 350 Echoes. Well... Huh? That was a weird... sound. The Diplomat Lairs near Mansion's Pyre, in a second-floor office above a gymnasium for pugilistic ladies and gentlemen. Your conversation is punctuated by distinct shouts and blows. The Diplomat smiles fondly at the sounds. Pick up an agent. I have a friend, the diplomat says, who would be grateful for passage somewhere. The Carnate, for instance. Interesting. An agent will allow you to establish an intelligence network and sometimes grow it later. Let's see. Ask about the diplomat's role. What kind of diplomacy is involved? A cattle grin. 
The kind of diplomacy that doesn't get written down. I'm attached to the Admiralty, not the Foreign Office. London is not what she was, but she has, still has interests abroad. I look after them as best I can. I do hope you're patriotic enough not to ask for too many details. Well, I'd at least like to know a bit more about the Admiral. Do you work closely together? Well, now, the Admiral is a man of principle. Very straightforward, very traditional in his views. I think it's rather courageous of him to expect the Navy to operate without outside assistance. And he has an excellent taste in both chamber music and wine. I hope that makes my feelings clear. Ah, okay then. Let's attempt a diplomatic agent. A name, an address. Both are probably temporary, but they're all you need. I now have one network's diplomatic agent. Let us see. I am now curious. If I go to the Connate, because I'm taking like a drop right by it, I might as well take a look. So, aha! I'm going to the Empire of Hands anyway. Thank you. That's just really convenient. Ask the Admiral what he thinks of the voracious diplomat. The diplomat, a half-legendary, all-infamous figure whose connection to the Admiralty is obscure. A frank scowl. An unprincipled scoundrel. The Admiral snaps. If you have intelligence, bring it to me. Don't go off the books. Okay. I still port ports, right? Yes. Vendabite. Wither. Pigmoat Isle. Chapel of Lights. Avid Horizon. Codex. That should be basically all the fuel I'm going to need for a while. I'm pretty much going to be buying nothing but pure fuel and pure supplies anyway, considering we're going to the Empire of Hands, and that's a very lengthy distance away. Uh, well, of course we're going to leave some room. I don't need that much. But I'll take enough. Uh, anything else for us? I mean, theoretically, I could get a Caminus Yards health. Like, I, can I get the next level of Caminus Yards? Admittedly, that's probably not the most brilliant idea, but I might as well take a look. I didn't even read that description. The dangerously jovial Mr. Fires manufactures the most intimidating, least carefully tested devices. Health Rasher. Ah, never mind. That is the highest possible amount. Never you mind. Hmm. And we don't have any access to We Are Clay. Is there anything else available to me? Nope. I guess we shall shove off once more, this time to the Empire of Hands proper. So, we're going of the journey I'm plotting here. That's not the map. The map is here. Salt Lions. Pick up the Porter Port. Khan's Hot Glory. No. I don't remember. We'll try Khan's Heart first. Khan's Shadow, and then we're going to start hunting the Empire of Hands, because I want to... I have two things here that can be used. And I kind of want the permanent buff as well. Like, that's not something I'd rather ignore. I can also grab a bit of free fuel before I go. By simply stopping by at this location and dropping off the recent news. But I'm going to keep that handy, just in case. I even still have my beginner's luck. Let's just see if that brings me anything useful elsewhere. Because I only know of the two locations. One at Avid Horizon and one at... Um, Wow, why am I forgetting? Brain. What's the name of the place? Sisterhood Abbey Rock. Yes, that's what it was. Anyway, so I was saying, I was actually called in for a bit of extra work because one of our people had to leave early for whatever reason. And what is trying to kill me? I don't see anything. Okay. Uh, someone had to leave early for a doctor's appointment, and the manager just completely forgot about it. Which did annoy me, because that basically just guaranteed I'm unable to do anything for today. In addition to the errands I'm going to have to be running later today, keeping me at home. 
Let's not toss around random objects in my room. I mean, I only really need one hand to play this game, so... The other hand's just tossing around things like little medallions and trinkets I've picked up. Yeah. Uh, what to talk about, what to talk about. Um, I guess I have something to. I was deciding, like, whether or not to actually attempt to get a press release copy of Battlefleet Armageddon, uh, Battlefleet Gothic Armada. As I have a personal interest in, like, most Warhammer games or otherwise, and that would be nice to at least try to review, if not just do an outright Let's Play of it. Although, I'm not entirely certain of how that's going to go over. I'd really like to get... I have a lot of things I still need to get done. Those are like FAFSA work and otherwise, just because I would like to continue going to college without having to pay an obscene sum. No, we're close to the Salt Lions. Oh, no, 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 we're still ridiculously far away. Why do they have all these abyss locations? Like, do these have any true importance? There's like a deep sea creature that'll pop up and try to kill me if I go over it? No? Okay. Ah, well. Not really much worth to question it. We've spoken with everyone we can. I still need bloody mutter salt, and to get that requires five Z stories, and I don't know how to grab those easily without going to places like uh, Gator's Morn, which is too southward for most of my journeys. Mostly because I'm not very familiar with all the structures that are down there. I'm more of a northern man myself. Alright. Salt Lions, give me your secrets. And who knows, perhaps on the way back I'll drop off. Uh, on the way back I'll pick up some more of the brick and mortar. Also known as the salt stone. Port, port Sphinx stone. You dunce, it's right in front of you. Unmakers lose some terror. Not much else to do besides do that, and at least with a port port, if I decide not to go for the Sphinx Stone, there are other things I can go and grab. And you know, you never really realize how little fuel it actually takes to cross most of the map. Like, so far I've burnt through four of it, and with me attempting to establish an intelligence network, which can only make Ka the Khanate love me. Like, I heard to make them like me, I'm supposed to bring coffee to them for whatever reason. But I don't know where to acquire that, at least off the top of my head. I have, like, records of a conversation I had with one of my fans who at least told me how to do that. But I would have to go find the coffee in the first place, because I remember that was distinctly not a point of conversation. He just said that's how to do it. Although maybe some things I like to prefer to keep to myself, just for a little joy of discovery. Like the diplomat thing I didn't know about at all. And again, it's also kind of hard to get vital intelligence. Where did I get that from, anyway? I do not remember. Hmm. We're just feeling outrageous prices. Port report. Hmm. Establish a spy. Ugh. Establish a spy in Khan's heart. If you can't, it'll mean trouble. If you're successful, you can tap into your network later for intelligence. A dark speckled admiral and a voracious diplomat, among others, will be interested. So, who am I right now? Okay, such a ribbon navigator. Who's the other officer? Do you do the exact same thing? No, you give pages, so you're not actually as useful. I guess we'll uh, attempt to succeed in this. To establish a spy in Khan's heart. Your agent does not return. Have they spent your funds, ran run? Are they chained upside down somewhere in the Timon stronghold? You know, two, the white and golds are watching. Your Conigan suspicions has risen. I'm glad. Ugh. Fine. Not hiring any crew. Heck no. Not gonna purchase any fuel or anything else like that. Uh, let's just visit the place for a while, I presume. No, it's not Porter Port. How do I just wander? Does everything require money here? Well, that was a way not to do. An almost impossible challenge. There's not even a chance. 
Hey, a storyteller. The storyteller's in the square of cedars where brightly colored craftsmen like clothing with silk sashes in contrast to the more sober and subterranean dress of the citizenry. For coin, even foreign coin, they'll sing epics of the nation's history. The Temptations of Parabola Where London now stands, the capital of Carnate once stood. After its own disappearance from the surface, after the clean sky and wide earth, they went half mad in the close night under the earth. They found seven things in mirrors that promised them diversion, escape, new horizons. In time, the mirror serpents became masters, not servants, and the last true Khan led the last of his people to the salt steppes, to a black rock where he founded this city. How he built it is a tale for another day. You feel eyes on you. A woman in a white gold uniform watches you closely. The loyalty service is suspicious of foreigners who want to learn Carnegie history. Well, are you awful? Fine, I'll leave. I'll bloody leave. That didn't work, and it's probably never going to work if I want to get, like, that little bit of intelligence. I don't even know how to get rid of that suspicion. I think it's just going to hit max almost bloody immediately. Like, who knows, I might even just knock myself out of the Carney quest line entirely. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, they're probably posting something about only war, so let's see what's going on. Never mind. Nothing about only war, just absolute idiocy on the chat. I am bloody glad. I will not discuss things that are on the chat, because that can only lead to bad things. That can only lead to bad things in the comments and otherwise. Porter Port, give me. Nothing in the shops? Nothing at all? What was it, ten for fuel? Eh. This isn't that horribly expensive. So I'll just buy a few of those. I'm gonna get a mile breaker, because I'm not going to have hearts get reduced. It's my highest it's literally my highest stat. Oh not by much. Alright, let's see if we can locate the Empire of Hands. And hopefully not find the golden juggernaut again. Oh it knows I can only go well. Hey guys, golden juggernaut. Oh no. Please don't kill me. Oh, please don't tell me we're not going to find the Empire of Hands for, like, forever. Scuttering and chittering in the corners of the hold, hump shapes on the deck rails, ratsy air emboldens the vermin. Oh no, the promised sea. All through this place, the song of the drownies lies shivering sweet along the wind. Yet a new location. There are no islands within range. Wait a minute! If we're here, we're close to the Fathom King. That might be good. Yes! Fathom King's Hold! For those who've forgotten, I actually need to do this f to continue the quest. Admittedly, I'd like to find the Empire of Hands. This is maybe a slightly better chance. Maybe. All I have is a maybe. Alright, which side is this entrance? I have forgotten. I think it's on the south. Oh hey, this is a cage tark. It's an albino moray. Let's not fight that thing if we can avoid it. And there's the port. Can I find another island? Maybe the Empire of Hands? Maybe. Nope. Not a one. The Fathom King's Hold. Lorcan's Port, named for the most enterprising of drownies. Phosphor cells burn green. Somewhere below, the king waits. Like an iceberg, like a bazaar's master scheme. Like beneath itself, most of the hold is invisible. You see only a tiny portion of sculpted coral. The rest waits below the surface. Fathom King's bone rooms and aquaria. His pearl snakes and his dining chambers. Descend to an audience with the Fathom King. The Fathom King is Lord of the Drownies, those dead who won't stop swimming. By some account, he's Lord of all who die at sea. Bring him a story to tickle his curiosity. 
Oh, trading for drowning pearls. There's a porta port. Uh, we'll grab that. The porta watches you ride. She says nothing. Those granted audience return dazed, awestruck. The king's not generous, but occasionally he is fair. Let's get an audience. Why not? Speaking to the porter. A porter has the skin of a shark. She has a drowned woman's eyes. It is not permitted to look at her hands. Yes, she rasps. The story is sufficient. She opens the valves of pearl and permits you to pass to the conduit. The throne cyst. This is the salt blown heart of the hold. The Fathom King floats in his throne, a gem starred bowl of sea stone, the size of a banqueting table. He wear he's wearing a drowning a dressing gown of purple brocade soaked dark with salt water. He leans his chin calmly on his hand. Beneath the surface of the water is his throne, his hidden regions pulse, constantly, insistently. Discuss the matters of your father's bones. Your complexity. I have a more personal petition. You know something of my father, or what remains of him. I've come to plead for Azalea's life. Perhaps it's someone you knew. Perhaps you're feeling philanthropic. Perhaps you are simply des desperate for crew. Listen to a chelonate envoy. A hunter in shark skin is haranguing the king. Unpardonable intrusion! Our ancient rights have been in punch. King you may be, but not of the Shell Slayers. We will pay no more tribute. Or ask a boon of the king. You brought the king a story gift. You may ask a gift in return. It's impossible to know what you'll receive. I'll leave. We're finished here, but we're not. Let's do our personal petition. His complexity is watching you. His eyes are cold as polished stones, but a smile lurks at the corner of his mouth, like an eel in ambush. Ask for assistance. Your complexity is a question only you can answer to open the final gate of my journey. To my father's bones, I ask this boon of you. Who was Mr. Voluminous? Why was the Fathom King sending parcels to him? I'll speak of the other matters. The sea presses, the darkness seeps. Move on. Now, who was Mr. Voluminous? Come now. I will give you the address you need for the small consideration we discussed, but I won't share personal information so easily. I have my business with the masters of the bazaar. It's not always a pleasant business. He shrugs. There are ripples. One has one's duties. You can review the Fathom King's requests in the curiosity section of your gazette here. Curiosities, curiosities, curiosities. I'm curious. What requests have I gained? Hmm. What is the Fathom King's request? I honestly don't know. Oh, wait, really? Really? Ugh, why did I do that? I hate you. I freaking hate you. I hate you that you just ate that. You took it away from me. <sighs> well, it's not saved yet, I don't think, so we'll give it a shot later. Hope you've all enjoyed watching. This has been BrainBoy20 with Let's Play Sunless Sea, and when we come back, we will try once again with the Fathom King. I hope. If not, we'll be on our way to the Empire of Hands. But until then, I hope you've all enjoyed watching. This has been BrainBoy20, and I am signing off. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, or subscribe for it upside a great deal. And I hope to see you all next time. Farewell.